Okay. Well, it was, uh, congratulations, Florida State. Uh, they kept off a, a really good season, undefeated season. It's hard to do. Uh, so credit them, their players, their coaches. Uh, they played hard, and uh, you know they found a way to win the game. Uh, for us, you know, it was disappointing. Uh, I'll take the blame for the loss. Uh, I would like to play played a whole lot better than that uh, on offense. I thought our defense played really, really well uh, the entire game. You know, gave us a chance without question. Our special teams played really, really well, uh, and we're, we were not up to par on offense. So that's uh, my fault. And um, you know, once we had to kind of rely on the passing game a little too much. Um, you know, we, we, we couldn't execute very well. Uh, so that was disappointing. So we'll have to figure out ways to, uh, you know, fix that uh, moving forward. I'm sure we'll have another tough game, uh, you know, in the bowl game coming up. But, uh, you know, disappointing today. But I, I do think we have a lot of guys that played hard uh, and quite a few guys that played really well, uh, especially on defense uh, and special teams. Unfortunately, offense uh, was not good. And, and that's, that's my fault. Hey, Jeff, Manny Navarro with The Athletic. You guys had an incompletion in the end zone there in the fourth quarter, and I was just curious, did you consider it all challenging the, the, that call, the incompletion on, uh, on the drop? Well, I, I would hope that they reviewed it. Uh, we had some time there, uh, so um, I was told it was an incomplete pass, but uh, um, that's all I know on that one. Chris and he with Knowles 24-7. When they went to the Wildcat and Tofilly had the success on those back-to-back -back plays with the touchdown, why did that happen? You guys had obviously been very good against the run against them. Why did that allow them to have some success? What was it that he changed the picture? Uh, well, quite honestly, uh, our adjustment to Wildcat uh, the first couple of times was not good. So that part I did not like. Uh, that's on us as coaches. Uh, after that, we adjusted it uh, to something uh, more aggressive, and we stopped it every time. Uh, so that was... Uh, not the best coaching on our end. Uh, and then, of course, we didn't execute it. Uh, but we switched that plan up after that. And unfortunately, it cost us. Yeah, Jeff, uh, Brooks holding that with the CJ. Um, when you talk about the offense just uh, having a rough night, um, does that come down to just uh, – just, just uh, keeping Jack upright, you know, he was, he was getting tons of pressure. Or, you know, when you look at this game, um, what do you think was the biggest failure uh, for the offense? Well, these guys pressed us across the board on the slot, on the outside. They challenged routes, and we had to earn our completions. Um, we got a few. Uh, we missed a couple plays early we could have hit. Uh, we kind of dropped one in the end zone uh, right before the end of the, the fourth quarter that we, we need to catch. Uh, we let the one kind of slip out of our tight end that, uh, in the end zone as well that we need to catch. Um, and then we didn't, after that, we didn't execute. So once it got turned into a heavy pass oriented game in the fourth quarter when we're down, uh, we were really dismal uh, with that. So it just goes to show that, um, you know, if we don't have balance, uh, we have a, a long ways to go in the passing game. Third row, coach. Hey, Jeff, Tyler Griever with WDRB. How would you evaluate how Jack played tonight? What do you think he struggled with in this one? Well, it wasn't his best game. Um, I think early on, you know, he did some, some pretty good things. Um, missed a few throws here and there. Uh, didn't pull the trigger a few times. But, uh, you know, not until the, uh, the interception in the end zone. Uh, that's when the wheels started to come off a little bit. Uh, so, you know, we got to go back and look and figure out ways to not allow that to happen again. But like I said, I'll, uh, he played hard. He hung in there. Um, like I said, once once we got to where we were pass uh, oriented, uh, trying to come back, you know, they were good pass rushers. Uh, we got pressure on the quarterback. Could he have stood in there a little longer and made a couple throws? Probably. But, uh, you know, the, the balance left us. Uh, and really all year when we've had to throw it a whole lot, uh, we have not been as efficient as, as we need to be. So that's, uh, you know, we got work to do. Front row. Alexis Cubit, Louisville Courier Journal. Jeff, I guess how much do you attribute just the, the offensive mistakes and miscues to being self-inflicted as opposed to what uh, Florida State was doing defensively? Well, I'll give Florida State a whole lot of credit. We knew they were going to press us on the outside, press us on the slot, challenge routes, uh, play downhill. Um, they were very active. And we needed to run the ball some. So, 
you know, we had a hard time getting some yards with the run early on. We finally broke a few uh, on a couple drives early in the second half that helped us, got us in position to take a lead, to get some points, and we stalled in the red zone. Uh, and we had some chances. Like I said, we probably had you know, there weren't two easy catches, but we had two balls that we can easily catch uh, to score a touchdown. And I just think once we threw the, the interception on third down, uh, when we're in scoring territory and right in the game, that's when the wheels started to come off. And uh, we, we were extremely inefficient after that. So, like I said, that, that's on me. I, I, I need to do a better job. Front row, far left. C.L. Brown, Louisville Courier Journal. Jeff, uh, how much when you look back on this game in terms of the building of this program, um, how you won it, how much will you kind of point to some of those plays that, that you feel like you, you could have made in terms of a championship game? You're not going to get a lot of opportunities and you have to seize those opportunities. Well, um, like I said, the way I saw the game on the field, I haven't watched the film, but, uh, you know, our defense really played well, and we needed them to. Um, you know, the team was playing their, their third quarterback, uh, but we, we, we played pretty well overall, other than the Wildcat uh, a couple of plays that really cost us. Um, they played to the end, so I'm proud of their effort. Um, you know, they kept us in the game, our special teams um, – you know, okay, we had maybe had one punt that we, we, we shanked, but other than that, uh, got us the advantage, got us the ball in scoring territory. And then um, we, we couldn't convert. Uh, so, like I said, we had chances to convert, and we have to make those plays. And, um, you know, sometimes, uh, you know, guys got to understand, uh, you know, you got to make contested plays. You got to make contested plays with people kind of holding on to you, grabbing on to you, hitting you as to ca- hitting you as to catch the ball, hitting you as to throw, throw the ball. You know, against good football teams, that's how real football works. And uh, we were not able to make those. And then, like uh, like I said, after that, um, you know, then we really started to stink it up on offense in the fourth quarter. Other questions for coach? Back TV, upright. No play for other. Uh, Jeff, Dominic Yates, WLKY. Uh, just big picture, what was this experience like just being here, playing for an ACC championship? And I guess just what did you say to the guys just in the locker room after this? Well, uh, you know, I was uh, very optimistic with our team after the game because I was very proud of their performance. I thought they played very hard. I thought there were a lot of guys that uh, prepared hard, uh, wanted to win. Um, quite a few guys that gave really good performances. Unfortunately, we had a handful, uh, you know, not play up to par. Uh, and like I said, I think uh, you got to play better on offense. Uh, so that starts with me as the head coach. Uh, you know, we got to figure out ways to create a few more big plays. Uh, we got to figure out a way we have to throw the ball a lot to be more efficient. Um, and uh, that was what was disappointing. And that, that's what cost us. Um, but I do think our guys wanted to win. Uh, they were up for the challenge as far as uh, facing an undefeated team in a, in a championship game. And we had some moments. You know, we, we, we scored a couple of those touchdowns late in the third quarter, early fourth quarter. It's a different ball game, but uh, we didn't. And uh, when that didn't happen, they took advantage of it, and uh, things went south. Last question, front row. You kind of touched on it a little bit just now, but I guess just overall, how do you feel like this team handled the moment, being that it was the first time the program has gotten to the ACC championship game? I thought they handled the moment well as far as, uh, you know, they were jacked up, ready to play. They had a good week of practice. Uh, you know, it's not a, a fun losing our last game as well, but uh, we knew this was going to be very challenging. We were going to have to play well in order to win. Uh, and I think we were right there in the game with numerous chances, uh, st- stalled in the red zone for field goals early on, which you can't do against good teams. Uh, didn't convert when we had a chance to score and, and uh, I don't know, maybe take the lead or tie the game. can't remember what the score was. Um, and, and really get some momentum going. Uh, didn't happen. And... Uh, you know, then, then it was, you know, once we had to, you know, try to make plays in the fourth quarter, we, we didn't make any. Okay, thank you, Coach.